chant this. So each year, the market for every single asset in Forex, even though I just go alone, we're going to look pan. But I tell one member earlier, each year a direction is chosen. Let's go on the monthly chart for goal. And let's start counting quickly. This is January. This is February. This is March. Price went back up to 2020 levels in March. Never break it, but went very close. And ever since then, all right, April, May, June, July, has just been one big constant sell-off. So majority rules got a low that the market price of gold established in the month of January has now been broken. And now, see, just as I pointed out to a couple of my students, um, we're heading right back into the 1700 levels now. What's going to happen is after this current sell-off has completed, we're going to see market price do a pullback. I'll discuss that more in the next session. But this main point is to just reinforce that March is a breakout month in Forex trading. And after that, some assets, the direction starts on the very first month. For example, you're a USD and GBP USD. But other assets, their breakout or their direction comes a little bit, look a bit later. What I want to establish for you guys is the understanding that you can position yourself for both swing trading, position trading, and day trading on the very same asset. But it would be wise if I do it on different brokers, you know, different accounts, but uh, that's just the main point. So me personally, I could on one Forex account swing trade goal or position trade it. And on the next account, I just focus on day trading aspect. One, I understand that I entered from early in the year, constantly have those trades open, watch as the months go by and put me deeper in profit. The next one deals with my current bills. That way, by summer period come, I make a big cash out. Because let's take a look at this. Say you entered from March and you held on up till now. You just had the confidence and trust in your analysis. I held on till now. You're, you're no deep in profit. Now let's get into the tutorial right about now. So as you can see, I've been dishing out some gems to you guys. Not only me, but a couple of the other senior members. Glad to see that Jeremy and his back. So looking forward to any of a session. Let's use the basic principles. We're going to mark out the previous day as usual. We're going to keep it simple. And after that, we're going to work on the starting block for the current day. We're not going to miss a beat. All right. So this would have been drawn and set. And obviously, would have been preparing for our Asian session range, right? Now, take a look. Using the data from the previous day, we saw that the 6th of July essentially came through with a continuation of the activity from the 5th. Surprise us at a discount. We got a little inducement. We saw no activity to show us that the market price was in the slightest way trying to overcome the previous impulse. So this alone would have been one of the factors we would have used to say, all right, will there be buying to see if market price was going to take out these areas? We didn't see that happen. Let's say I was focusing on this liquidity zone right here alone. Before I could think about any sort of buy off, by right, I should have seen market price at least, if I'm following decent technical analysis, I should have seen market price at least attempt to take out this era right here, inside bar pattern. Anybody who understand technical analysis to the T, I'm gonna go look further down with it, I'm gonna go by the weeks, would understand that this is a very important zone that market price would have to break. So I would have already had this mark along with my impulsive box, but let's say I didn't do that. Let's say I went, oops, 
I went along with just my time formula. Let me just fix this back quickly. And I go on the M5 chart and I say, I'm going to have everything set. So first step, I mark out my Asian session. For some of you, you already got the indicator from me for free. So that would have assisted you into matching the time. It differs from broker to broker, but I'm glad to see that majority of the brokers I'm not we're using the time is practically the same. So we would have definitely outlined what our Asian session would have been like. You can have these preset from early. Even you can set it from now for the 7th of July. We would have then marked out our entire Asian range. And you have the option of even trading the Asian session. I'm going to show you guys this right now. First and foremost, upon seeing market price make the first five-minute candlestick, you'd have you know drawn out there high and low. I did it on the M5 chart. Sorry, the M15 chart, but you could have done it on the M5. You have gotten a breach, retest. You have taken an entry here on the setup or even here. But if you took an entry um, along this level, you'd be in breach because you'd be at the top. All right? And that wouldn't work. Um, matter of fact, market price is going back up into that area, the inside bar from the previous day. And you would have already had that marked out. If you didn't know about that principle, stick around. I'll teach you more about it. So price come back down. So right now, obviously, you're starting to realize that price is failing to take out what? That impulsive area, right? From the previous day. Because already you're seeing clear rejection from the high that would have been made for the current day in the Asian session range. And you'd have gotten an impulse at some point, market price rejecting to go higher. That's one of the clear indications for us that price is, you know, going to be giving us a sell-off. And many persons would have taken their entry here. Mm -hmm. and uh, put their stop loss right around here and would have, you know, just waited a bit. But let's say it didn't trade the Asian session. You would have to undoubtedly still make preparations for the upcoming sessions of London and New York. So you add in your deviation zones. Uh, looking for market price to fill these areas. As I mentioned in earlier sessions, New York session is notorious for one of two things when it comes on to gold. Either A, it continues from what the previous session was pitching, or it comes through and wipe out all those gains. What we're actually seeing from an intraday trading perspective is quite naturally a continuation of the sell-off that started from the previous day and earlier in the previous weeks, right? That's all we're seeing right now as continuation. There was no evidence to support that the market price was going up. Even if I didn't do the deviation points, there was absolutely no evidence to support that. And this is where I keep on saying muscle memory is going to be our best friend in Forex cause Many of you are currently on the session with me right now. You have seen this numerous times. It's just that you couldn't believe it. But yeah, best start believing. Let's zoom in back now. So Asian session came to an end. What we need to establish now is our areas of liquidity on the chart. So first one that I spot is here. Bowl up the line. Let me get a different color. Let's color it uh, purple. Okay, that's an orchid. Our next one, a spot would be right around here. Notice is that I'm not targeting the, the extremities. I'm not targeting where persons take profit. Just says I take profit here, so it can be it. Right, just says the lowest here, so this is a take profit here, so this can be. The even right, just says take profit. So it's here. I'm looking at the areas where there's justification, where capital is put in. So as you can see, market price even went right back up into that zone. Touch on the opening high of my starting block and failed. Then price kept on going down. 
Now, what's the one thing that I haven't added so far in this? I haven't added the time formula. All right, that's eight o'clock. And there's more to it on goal, but that's a different session. That's 9.30, so the bell has rung. So we need to catch your hours of the impulse, 10 o'clock. All right, so be, if you were present at your chart at that time, you would have been in line. Even if it was bullish, same rule would apply, just after you have confirmation. And then you would have been in line for the impulse. Have your break of liquidity zone. And so on, and here we go. Pay off. Now the last one will be the 12 o'clock era. Obviously, market price is heavily discounted. Has made the lowest era so far for gold for this month. And last one will be 12 noon, which is right now, lunch, lunch time. And here comes the pullback. So many persons, quite naturally, M1 chart. Yeah, are collecting scraps right now. But yeah, some traders, they're just good like that. You cannot be around the chart during hours in which there's going to be a shakeout and expect to collect money. You cannot be entering areas on the chart where after the impulsive move has been done, that's when you're trying to enter. Too many traders see a move like this, and then they place a sell at the bottom. And when they get stopped out, they place a buy at the top, and then when the move decides to continue on them, them say Forex is a scam. You're going against the algorithm because you're not judging what's happening by virtue of the time. And as such, you're all over the place. Now, same rule applies for each era on the chart that there was an unfulfilled gain to the buy side. That's a liquidity era that these current bulls notice the low liquidity. So there's not much going on right now. That the current bulls have to overcome and the body of the candlesticks have to stay above them to confirm that price is going higher. The point of the matter is, people, practice makes perfect in anything in life. We can't avoid the share codes in the Forex market because I guess that them is a part of the algorithm. But what we can do is position ourselves on the chart at those exact time when the market is giving us the impulsive moves, especially for this one. I've given you guys a time formula for the US market. All right? So by virtue, enough persons probably anticipating the pullback, but Confirmation is key. So we'd have already had that marked out, but that's for a different lesson later. Can't drop all the gems them. But keeping it as simple as possible. Here it is laid beer for you guys. And as I pointed out to my students them, and to you guys who are going to be watching this video, you could have already had all of this prepped and ready before US market come on the scene. I use all of this data to assist you to confirm whether market price was going to continue to go back up or down. You probably ask say, how come? It is quite simple. Each one of these zones, where the bulls them feel for, you know, push higher, are areas of price liquidity. All right? Keeping it simple like that. Hope you guys enjoy this short little analysis. There's more to it, but you can still eat the food off of this. All right? Peace be unto everyone. Sessions are on later on. Uh, spots are opening in the mentoring course at this present moment. So just look in the description box of information. God bless you all.